For all his sons and his daughters Won't feel the sins with the faces Iniquities of they father Bloodthirsty is of our nation Not for living water Waiting to put that work in Hamashiach give us that order Prepare slaughter For all his sons and his daughters Won't feel the sins with the faces Iniquities of they father Bloodthirsty is of our nation Not for living water Waiting to put this work in Hamashiach give us that order Who's been? What's going on, bro? How you doing, man? You got any questions for us? Anything? Trying to get understanding. Yeah. So, so just you believe? I got you. Okay. Oh, you drove from Oklahoma? Oh, you love the rope and roll, huh? Oh man, I can't stand it. I can't stand that open road. I wish I was like you, man. I could just get out, man, and see the and see the country, man. But listen, this country, it, it, listen, it, it ain't much to see. You know what I'm saying? It's toe up for the flow up. Have you ever heard of this Israelite stuff before? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're familiar. Oh, that's right. All praises. It is. It is. We got a lot of brothers out there. Right. Hey, listen, and, and it's so. Hey, and listen, exactly, and that's and all praises for that, right? Because because the scripture says that knowing the truth is what's important, man. We've been rejecting this truth for so long, you know. <laughs> even when you witness the conversation between me and the brother Mark, it's like we we not only have we uh, uh, rejected the truth, but we've latched on to the misinformation, and he talks about it a lot. That's why I could respect when I brought something out, and he says, "I'm gonna read on it." And that's fair. Brothers ain't always got to just concede in the moment, but at least you know. At least you can't walk away and say, them brothers is making that up. Yeah, yeah. That's the point. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Go do some research. That's all you got to do. Yeah. And, and blessed is he that readeth. Yeah, absorb it yourself. That's right. Time, that's right. Blessed yeah. is he that readeth. So we want to make sure we, we uh, inspire our people to get into this word and actually yeah. rightly yeah. divide it. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Bring your precept. This book of Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20. Uh-huh. To the law and to the testimony. Read. If they speak not according 1 Timothy 2, to 15. this word. If they speak not according to the word, read. It is because there is no light in them. And we're supposed to be a light unto the entire planet Earth. So if we're going to be that light, we have to speak according to the words of light. And we know that comes from the Father. And in this current time, it's through the, uh, uh, the word and the divine spirit of, you know, who the world ignorantly calls Christ. Right? right. So all of these things are important. And if we take those things and implement them correctly, this is how we achieve that freedom that it says we will receive when we know the truth. Right. Because Christ was the way he was the truth and he was the life. The life the world, you see what I'm saying? But again, it's because of the things that he came and instituted and implemented to us. Right. Give me Psalms uh, 142. I mean, 119, 142. You got something? Yeah. Bring it out. I got Isaiah uh, chapter one, verse I start at 16. Wash you, make you clean. You say you got Isaiah 1 and what? 1 and 16. 16? Start at 15. Okay. Verse 15. And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Uh huh. Yeah. When ye make many prayers, I will not hear. And the Lord says he's not going to hear our prayers because we are adjacent or we are absent of said truth. Mm -hmm. Right? This again, why it was so important for Christ to come and be what he was for us, which was so many different things. Right? He was an example for us. He was, of course, salvation or propitiation, right? He gave us the opportunity for redemption and to get back into the good graces of the Lord. He became the mediator, the intercessor, right? We call, we call Christ the Johnny Cochran in the sky, right? Because this is our representation to the Father of how we get into this a good place so that we can be pardoned for all of our shortcomings, all of our downfalls, our struggles, our stumbles. These are the stuff that we need to do um, and, and recognize in order to get back to that place. Christ was necessary, right? Because at a point in time, the Lord says, I'm not even listening to your prayers. When you reach your arms unto me, he says, I'll turn my back to you. Read. 
Kind of. It says, your hands are full of blood. Our hands is full of blood, iniquity, wickedness, right? Read. Kind of. It says, watch you, make you clean. But the Lord said, commands us to do it. Wash yourselves. Make yourselves clean. Read. Put away the evil of your doings. And that's how we cleanse ourselves, to put away the evil of our doings. But, but, but this is why this, this whole Israelite thing is so important. Because if we don't know that we're Israelites, we don't know how to return back to God. We have no idea how to cleanse ourselves. We have no idea that it's even our responsibility to cleanse ourselves. See what I'm saying? Us knowing that we're Israelites, then understand and know the guidelines and the code of conduct that we must abide by. And then that's literally how we get back to that good grace, because that's the reason that we fell away. Violating and being rebellious. That's how we got pushed aside. That's how we got the Lord's back and not his face. See what I'm saying? So all we have to do is reverse engineer what got us in trouble right. and get us out of it. Stop being hard headed. Hard -headed. Wash yourself. Make yourselves clean. Yeah. Right. Return back unto the Lord. Read. Put away the evil of your doings. Put away the evil of your doings. Now we got to be able to recognize what is good and what is evil. Right? Give me Isaiah 5 and 20. Quick. Because we've developed this mentality now to start calling things good that is actually evil. And calling things that is bad. We call it, I mean, good. Then we call that even calling things evil bad or good. Now there's a level of confusion. So we got to rightfully divide this word of truth. You got that in Timothy 2.15? Bring it out. Book of 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15. Uh-huh. Study to show thyself approved unto God. Study to show yourself approved unto God, right? Like we said earlier, blessed is a man that reads. Go ahead. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. We got to become a workman. We can't be ashamed of this work that we're doing for the Lord because the Lord says he's, he's pleased with the foolishness of preachings to save them that believe. So anytime anybody want to say, oh, I don't know about that, and yet that's fine. We understand the Lord is pleased by these things, and we're not ashamed of the work that we've studied to get to, to the point of being able to perform, read. Rightly dividing the word of truth. We got to rightly divide this word of truth, right? What's your precept? Book of Hebrews chapter 5 and verse 12. That's right. Mm -hmm. For when for the time ye ought to be teachers. At the time that we should be teaching. Matter of fact, hold that, right? I'm going to come right back to it. Bring that out in Isaiah. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20. Read. Woe unto them that call evil good. Woe unto those, right? Destruction unto those, right? Condemnation unto those people that call evil good. Read. And good evil. And put good for evil. But that's the confusion. We're going to come up out of it. But this is the reason why we make it a point to come out here. Rain, sleet, or snow. We got to make sure we get out here and try to get this word to our people as much as possible. And not just to get it to them once, but to keep it in their face. Because through repetition and through habit and constant practice is how we develop this and embody it in the spirit. Because the brother actually quoted something, John 60, 63. Christ says, this, the, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So we got to take on the words of Christ, which is given to him from the Father, the same way the words that was given to Moses from the Father that we should have taken when the Lord says what? I set before you this day life and death. Choose ye therefore life. But we've been choosing death for so long, we think death is okay. That's what we call in good things evil now. Read. That put darkness for light uh -huh. and light for darkness. Read. That put bitter for sweet. Bitter for sweet. Go ahead. And, and sweet for bitter. So again, now we, the Lord is commanding us, turn from your wicked way. But we got to be able to identify and recognize what wickedness is. And how do we do that? We lean on the true understanding and the word of God, not our own understanding. That was it on that some more. Finish it out. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes. Wise in their own eyes. That's where we start to convince ourselves that something that we're doing is evil. We say, oh, no, that's good. God got God, God to give me an understanding there. And it's not to belittle the brother Mark, but when he was wise in his own mind to say, that's, that's deceitful. My God ain't deceitful. And it's like, <laughs> you better understand who God is, sir. Because what happens is this is what we start tend to do. And this is everybody, anybody that claims to be believing in this book. We take this book, we take the concept from the doctrine, right, that was given to us, loosely utilizing the book Christianity, and they create this image of what God is supposed to be. So then when we read things in the Bible and people say, but that's deception. And they say, God can't deceive. They say, wait, I, and I look at them all the time. I say, do you know who you're talking about? We're talking about the former of all things. 
that that man or that thing can do what it wants to do. Former of deception. He's the former of deception. He does what he wants to do. He, he's of everything. So why, well, how are we going to turn around and say he can't do it? Or that he's now less of a God? Or he's now less of something worthy to be served and worshipped because he did something that you didn't like? Um, get that in Obadiah. Uh, uh, that's it on that in Isaiah. Get that in Obadiah. He exalted himself above what is called God. I think that might even be in Thessalonians. In war. You got to be deceptive in war. And, and, and matter of fact, we're going to get that. Um, it says the Lord is not going to uh, uh, approach these people face to face. You know what that is, Shashan? The Lord, he says he's not going to meet these people as a man. The Lord said, the Lord said, I don't think I'm going to sit up here and be honorable. And you know how somebody say, oh, homie, forget you, homie. You snuck me. You snuck me. You ain't going to fight me like the Lord said. I'm sneaking you. <laughs> Call it what you want to. I'm not going to meet you as no man. I'm not going to walk over to you. He said, no, I want to catch you when you least expect it because you don't, you're, you're doubting my power. You think that you created this for yourself and there's nothing outside of you that can come and disrupt that and bring you down. He said, listen, in the time of your security and when your wickedness reaches its height, that's when I'm going to bring you down. And I ain't going to meet you as a man. Read. Right from up under you. And that's a beautiful thing. You got it? Obadiah, again, it was like a uh, uh, verse, maybe like 10 or 11. Talking about it's the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 2. Be out. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Uh -huh. Thou art greatly despised. Isaiah 47 and The 3. pride of thine heart have deceived thee. The pride of, of the pride of the hearts, right? This is talking about Esau, right? This is actually the Caucasian man. But but our people follow after him. See what I'm saying? This is this is the deception that our people are under in this current time. So the things that they're doing, we take on that nature as ourselves and it further separates us from God. Right. Read it again. Verse three, the pride of thine heart have deceived the thee. pride of the, of, the, of the hearts of people have deceived themselves. Go ahead. Thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock. And now we know it's talking it's talk about Edom, but then it says they dwell in the cliffs of the rocks. <laughs> Who else dealt in caves other than the Caucasian man? <laughs> Literally, he that dwell, that dwells in the cliffs of the rocks. Read. Whose habitation is high. And his habitation is high. He's at the height of the hill. He's got that exalted state. That's why he's always in some sort of skyscraper. He's always in some sort of private jet, right? He's trying to go to the moon. That's the way in which he exalts himself, right? And he even tried to limit other people from being able to go up there as well. It's his dominant, this, this, this uh, control complex that he has, read. That says in his heart. That says in his heart, read. Who shall bring me down to... To the ground who shall bring me down and like i said our people then to take on begin to take on that same level of pride as if god doesn't have the power to take them down or to condemn them for the wrong that they're doing even to the point where they start criticizing god and like i said trying to make him an unworthy uh, uh person or unworthy uh, uh thing to be served in worship oh i don't like you now I, I i don't like how you move god so i'm not gonna follow you who the hell made you the moral police who the hell said that you had a position and has established and fulfilled a level of perfect morality to then try to make that the standard for anybody? You can't even control yourself, let alone trying to control the world or the earth in its creation. Read. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. Though you exalt yourself as the eagle. Read. And thou set thy nest among the stars. And though you set your nest among the stars in the high position above everyone. Read. Thence. Will I bring thee down? Anybody taking that type of mentality, the Lord says he's going to bring them down, right? Because when you exalt yourself, the Lord's going to abase you. But when you humble yourself, that's when the Lord is going to exalt you. And anybody in a position of power now have not exalted themselves. I mean, have not uh, uh, um, humbled themselves. They've only exalted themselves, right? That's it on that. Give me uh, Psalms 40, I mean, Isaiah, Isaiah 47. Uh, Isaiah chapter 47. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. So this is Isaiah 47 is talking about uh, the daughter of Babylon. The place that's going to be condemned. The people that eat them is going to be ruling. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Read it again. Come on. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. So when it's talking about the nakedness of someone, it's it's the opposite of that pride that they have, right? Where you're where you're now being exposed. Yeah. The things that you cover, the vulnerabilities, the things that you cover up, yeah. the things that you keep in private and protect, yeah. they're not going to be exposed, and that's going to bring shame upon yeah. you, right? Your weaknesses. Your weaknesses. And we know a white man's weakness. Mm -hmm. What's a white man's weakness? 
Uh, no. no. What's up under that damn skirt? <laughs> Call it what you want to. We, we remember when Steve came up here. He said you 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 guys always want to take it to the locker room. I said I said you damn right, Steve. It's life's great equalizer. It's life's great equalizer. You know what Steve Steve was this white geologist, so-called geologist. He came up to us. Of course, he's an atheist. He doesn't even believe in God. We condemned him. We condemned him on his pride and arrogance. He even admits that he was arrogant. And, and at the end of it, he says, you know what? I'm going to go home to my resources and you're going to go home to your resources. And, we're, and, and he said, and then we're going to see who's winning in life. I said, yeah, you're going to go home and you're going to and you're going to go into your bedroom and use your resources. And I'm going go to my bedroom and re use mine. He goes, yeah, you always want to take it to the locker room and you always want to take it to the bank. So what you want to do? You can go and use your money to go buy to go buy you a woman. And I can go use my charisma and my and my and my physique, wow. okay, to go and get any damn woman that I want and get her to love me for who I am and what I have, okay? Not for listen, not for the things that I can go into the bank and give her. Okay. He said, "Life is not all about the size of your dick." I said, "I'm sure you've been telling them women that your entire life, huh, huh Steve?" Why are you taking out of my way? It, it, it really shouldn't be about this. It should be about the motion in the ocean. Get the hell out of here, Steve. But again, understanding that this is our people following after the ways of the daughter of Babylon. Okay? So Babylon, it says, read it again from the top. It says, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. The nakedness, your shame, your weaknesses, your insecurities is going to be exposed, read. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. Shame is going to be seen on you because America hasn't been shamed. And this is what's so crazy because this, this is who we understand uh, uh, daughter of Babylon to be, to be America. And understanding that war, has, war hasn't really touched the surface of America. Not since Pearl Harbor, and that was even on the shores. When they then enter into the land of, the, uh, of, of America, I believe that a lot of America's weaknesses are going to be exposed. We're strong in other countries, but home is weak. They, exactly. Home is weak. And why is home weak? Because there is a perpetual divide amongst the people. This is why Christ told us one of the indicators and the signs of the times is that nation was going to rise against nation. But this is not talking about this is not talking about Germany and America or Russia and America. No, this is talking about the different ethnic groups that even make up America. That's here. It's going to be fighting amongst here and it's going to collapse. Like I said, it's going to be made weak. Read. Kind of says that shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. It says the Lord going to take vengeance and he's not going to meet thee as a man. I mean, this is some of the most powerful stuff where you just really hear how the Lord is. The Lord is grimy. And this was so funny, too, because people that take this position as Christians, atheists, or just people that are anti the text, they take this position like they're on such a moral high ground and on such a high moral level that they then try to exalt themselves above God and make God be what they want them to be. Right. And then it says, read that part again, that last part, verse three. Kind of says, um, and I will not meet meet thee as a man so when i always show people when i start bringing out the nature of god when they're so adjacent to it when there's when they always juxtapose their moral standard and compass to what god is i say man it makes so much sense because you just don't like god you don't even like god you don't even you, don't, you and, and then the people that actually call themselves believers in the bible but don't believe in oh i don't believe it the way you guys say man you guys would just really hate god if we really start getting into the things that god did and the things that god represented is about you wouldn't like this guy You'd hate him. For all his sons and his daughters, won't feel the same with the faces. Iniquities of they father, bloodthirstiest of our nation. Not for living water, waiting to put that work in. Hamashiach gives that order, prepare slaughter. For all his sons and his daughters, won't feel the same with the faces. Iniquities of they father, bloodthirstiest of our nation. Not for living water, waiting to put this work in. Hamashiach gives that order.